Hey dear wires, today I will show you how to service your disc brakes, change your brake pads and swap out your rotors. This disc brake system is very common for many cars and you can use it as a general guideline to change out any disc brake pads and rotors. I will show you how to service your disc brake system on my car which is a 2016 Golf Sports Wagon TSI Wagon Power. The rear brakes will also be the same on the Golf GTI as well, at least one without the performance sports package. In this video I'll go into more detail and step by step as if it was your first time, so please feel free to jump to any chapter that's really re relevant to you. I will include all the tools that you need to use, more unique tools that you will need is a torque wrench, square drive nuts, uh, which are European specialty, and a brake compression tool that I was able to borrow from Pep Boys and also get it from AutoZone as well. So this is the complete list of tools and it's in the video description as well. Also check out the video description for all the parts that I used in my particular case uh, for the rotors and the brake pads. And also I will put the torque specs uh, for the Golf. Let's go back to the summer when I did the job on the old wheels. First thing we're gonna do is make sure your parking brake is off. Go into your uh, toolbox in your VW and get this uh, pin to pull out the caps. You're ready to loosen these nuts while the car is still on the ground. In this toolbox you have pretty much everything you need to take off the wheel, including this pin, and take out your wrench and loosen these nuts. Just make sure they're loose, okay? But not, don't take them all the way out. Now you can take out your scissor jack here and we can jack up the car. There is a dimple here, and this is where the jack will go in under. This is the dimple right here that indicates the support spot. You can see how there's like a reinforced section here. Raise it all the way up to the right spot, and you'll start pushing the car up. See what happens when you uh, put it in the wrong spot? And I'm gonna raise the car up until the wheel is off the ground. Make sure you have something over there so the car doesn't roll back. So the wheel is about an inch off the ground. Uh, loosen all you guys out and take off the wheel. Here's, you can take from the tool shop, there's a screwdriver, it's a Phillips and a flathead. And there's also one cool feature, there's a nut remover. And uh, that's how you take all the, the lug bolts. And, uh, we gotta take out the wheel. There you go. What I like to do for safety is get my wheel, put it right here. If something happens in an emergency, it will fall on the wheel, but never be under the car with a scissor jack, or if you have jack stands, uh, use them here. So this is the Mark 7 TSI uh, rear brakes. So it's a, it's a very simple system. What I like to do is uh, use some uh, PB blaster or something like that, uh, so they come off easy, just in case. So there's one here that we're going to have to take off for the rotor. And these are my bolts that I'm going to take out here, so I'm going to give it a little. To remove the guide pins, you will need a uh, 13 millimeter and a uh, 17 millimeter wrench. Uh, the 17 millimeter will go on the front, and mine just fits just right. And then the 13 millimeter go, will go in the back. And then you have to kind of twist it off. First, see if you don't need the counter wrench and just open it up. Okay. And uh, let's loosen the one at the bottom. Make sure the parking brake's off. <laughs> if that thing is on, uh, you're not gonna be able to do this. That's gonna come out, baby. Okay. This is uh, your rear caliper. And uh, this is the piston we're gonna have to push back. For now, I'll place it right here so it doesn't bend my brake lines and uh, parking brake. Get a screwdriver in here. Get these guys out. This is what a new one looks like. And this is what a bad one looks like. And uh, there's one in the back as well. Now to replace the rotor, we need to remove this caliper bracket right here. All right, so to remove the caliper bracket, there's two bolts. Uh, one of them is right here, and one of them just below the camera right here. Uh, they use a European standard called a triple square, an M14. It looks like torque, but it's not, and it will fit right here in this bolt. There's, uh, there's this clip here 
for the sensor and uh, you can kind of remove it to get better access to the bolts. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a little tab right here. But you gotta kind of like pull back a little bit, but not too much. And then you can pull it out. Here's the little tab. So you gotta do like this, push it back a little bit and then pull it out. So I was able to get in from the bottom, just like a mechanic would at a shop and pull it. It just broke slightly loose. Now there's the other bolt right here. Now that the bracket's out, we gotta take off the rotor from this bolt. This is a T30. This is a regular torque. Papa! And it came off pretty easy. Sometimes it's stuck on. So you might have to uh, hang it, hit it with a hammer or a mallet a few times. Look at that. Absolutely no braking surface in the back because these boots were actually torn and these pins couldn't move anymore because they, have, they were corroded. So the brakes wouldn't be able to, weren't able to grip uh, very well the rotor here. So I replace these boots and I have new guide pins as well. So uh, what I'll do is I'll clean up the rotor area here and then I'll scrape off all this surface rust here. Get some brake clean if you want. Let's put on your new rotor. Okay, little bolt. It's a T30 and it's there just to hold the wheel. So don't over tighten this guy. Just a little bit. That's it. It's time to put the bracket on. Make sure you clean it off a little bit. Put back your bracket and uh, just hit and tighten these bolts in here. There's a torque spec on these bolts. I mean, there's torque spec on all the bolts. For this, uh, these two bolts in the back, it is 90 Newton pounds, which is about 66 uh, foot pounds and then 90 degrees. Right, so I'm gonna go from the bottom again. Try to get that torque spec. Okay. That's 66 foot pounds, and now I gotta twist it 90 degrees. So I gotta over torque it a little bit. I think, I think I'll leave it at 66 foot pounds. I can't really get that 90 degree turn, and I think it's super tight already. Do the same thing with the bottom bolt. So here's how I got my wrench in here. Try to get that same torque spec, it's gonna be tough in here. I have to get the camera out of the way to really push this lever. Push it until it clicks 66 pounds and a little bit extra. Okay, I tighten as much as I could. My clip here broke off, but uh, I'm gonna reconnect my uh, my sensor here. Just push it in. And you uh, kind of snap a little bit. Brake pads first. This caliper here, uh, you see the piston here? It's style that actually you have to push and twist for it to go in. You can't simply compress it with a clamp. So uh, I had to give in and get a, a tool set. This is the tool set that I'm gonna use. And uh, basically it's three pieces. This guy, put it on top. So there's all these discs here that will go on the end of it. So uh, disc F would fit my brakes here and it goes on the back end of it. There's this piece right here that you can twist with the, the wrench. This disc right here it will go right in these grooves here. So I'm gonna be getting the grooves. You can hand tighten it right now. There you go. And then with this guy, you can have the brake compress. So you put a little bit of pressure. And then with this guy, squeeze the rotor inside. So keep going until this guy is pretty far back so you can slide it in here. Take this guy out. Piston's pretty much all the way inside. And you can go over my brake pads. Put some uh, grease over here on the brake pads. Uh, it's special brake lubricant. 
It'll help do uh, get better contact with the metal surfaces and the brake cylinder. It'll help not for these guys not to get stuck on it. And then do on the back side as well. Now ready to put the caliper back on. My bolt here. Two bolt on the bottom first. So the torque settings for the caliper guide pin bolts is 35 new newton meters to about 26 foot pounds. Okay. That's not a lot, you can do it by hand uh, or you can try your uh, torque wrench in here and it's uh, not much. I can't really get the torque wrench in the bottom here at all so this has to do by hand. So there you have it, rotor, brake pads, I replaced the boots for these uh, guide pins here and I replaced my guide pins, clean up all the rust as I could, all we gotta do is Put back the wheel on and torque everything to spec. This is a 17 millimeter socket. Torque is 80 foot pounds of torque. Star pattern. So, thanks for watching this video, and I hope it gives you the confidence to do this job yourself. I think this is a fairly easy job for a DIY enthusiast, uh, especially someone that works on their cars. And I highly recommend uh, doing the service yourself. And as always, I appreciate your support. Please subscribe and follow, and I will see you next time. Take care. Yes, these are the gold GTI wheels that I was able to get from my buddy Drew for free. So shout out to Drew. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.